After visiting the shrines, I always continue on to Castleton through some beautiful scenery. Castleton in the Peak District. Beautiful place to visit. Perhaps there's no better example of a Peak District village. Population at the last count was 642. As a tourist centre, there are plenty of cafes, pubs and shops. Mainly tourist shops selling the famous Blue John Gems. They're mine nearby and found nowhere else on earth. The first time I ever set foot in the place, I walked here. Or oh, that should be I hiked here from the Flouch Inn over the hills and past Howden Reservoir. I reckon it's around 18 to 20 miles. Did that walk a few times, usually in the spring. The countryside is beautiful at that time, though it can be cold. Today, I was enjoying the sunshine. On days like this, it's a great day out. Once in Castleton, I enjoy walking around, especially following the stream through a pretty part of the village. It's quiet and peaceful. The stream here actually flows out from the Peak Cavern, which until 1915 was the home to some of Britain's last troglodytes. I believe Barney and Wilma Rubble were their names. In Derbyshire and in Yorkshire, duck is pronounced with the U sounding like a U, not an A. A duck, in addition to being a feathered friend, can also be a human, perhaps even a troglodyte. Hence, a up duck is a greeting meaning roughly, how are you, precious one? Take the lane behind the Three Roofs Cafe to explore. Be sure to browse in David's antique shop, if it's open. But be sure to keep an eye on the children. The remoteness of the place and the scenery makes it a great place in the summer. But one might say it's inhospitable in the winter. But this ensures it retains, to a large extent, its original charm. Mike, the ice cream man, and some say formerly a troglodyte, was hard at work. He'd just been filmed for a BBC documentary, so I had to negotiate a fee. So I bought an ice cream which entitled me to a 10 second clip. He's fluent in Mandarin Chinese, so I had a chat with him. Ni hao, bin qin lin. Wo fei xiang hao, xie xie ni. Xie xie ni. I told you the people here are special. The small village has a recorded history dating back a thousand years. There's been a village here since 1086, when the Normans built Peveril Castle, after which the town is named. That is the castle on the hill. This mound 
is the ditch that surrounded the medieval village, still here. Having said that, it's thought that the Celtic inhabitants of Mamtor nearby worshipped Brigantia, the goddess of fertility. Though with a population of 642, it doesn't seem it helped at all. A carved head of her dating from around 1000 BC was found in a garden wall here. We decided to have a quick trip into the hills, past Speedwell Cavern, one of the caves that visitors can see. An interesting feature being that it's flooded and the visitor sees the cavern from a boat. Lead was mined here in times past. It's at the lower entrance to Winnet's Pass, a deep cleft in the hills here, so I decided to film the trip through there. From there we went to have a look at Lady Bower Reservoir finished just after World War II. The village of Derwent in the valley was flooded to make way for this. And in times of severe drought, part of the church is visible. I've actually seen it. The main dam has a fascinating history. It was used in World War II to practice bombing techniques that enabled the Royal Air Force to destroy German dams that supplied water to the Ruhr Valley. Barnes Wallace invented the bouncing bomb used and the 617 Squadron carried out the mission and became known as the Dam Busters and a film was made about it in 1954. The reservoir has for many years been the main water supply of the cities of Derby and Leicester, and the area is a popular tourist venue. Certainly a great day out, especially on such a day as this. By the way, talking about the Yorkshire dialect, someone once asked me, what does it mean the song on Ilklimur Bartat? What does Bartat mean? And I explained, it's very simple. Ba, t, t means the. Ba, the hat. Without, a hat on Ilkley Moor, Batat. Can be cold on that moor if you don't have a hat, you know. Already on Exion.org, Nonping 360, Hong Kong, Marrakesh, Morocco, Okinawa, Japan, Uti in India, Disneyland, Hong Kong, the Norfolk Broads in England, the Oriental Outpost of Portuguese Macau, Shaman, China, and the magic of Kerala in India. Take a look.